All right. Good afternoon. Um, former that. President Trump. Yes. We don't take our advice or counsel from former President Trump. Well, uh, on the first, uh, the president's son is not an employee of the federal government, so I'd point you to his representatives. And as it relates to the book, I have neither, neither had the time nor interest in exploring or reading the book. Go the, ahead, the Tina. Son's attorney go ahead, Tina. I, I think I answered your question. Action. Go ahead. You, well, you can go to the representative of the person who's not an employee of the federal government. Go ahead, Tina. There is a carmel for uh, people under two or people who are actively being or drinking. So I'm just curious why the president was I think I just addressed it here. So then what's changed since last year when he said, I will not do what this president, uh, former President Trump does and use the Justice Department as my vehicle to insist that something happen? Well, since you give me the opportunity here, President, former President Trump used his office to incite an insurrection. He put political pressure on senior DOJ officials to propagate lies about the election to the point where they threatened to resign en masse. I think there's hardly a comparison there. Mm -hmm. Do you know any of uh, any examples from his 36 years in the Senate that Joe Biden just hopped on a train and left town to avoid a vote that he knew he was going to lose? <laughs> Welcome back. Um. <laughs> and maybe it is funny to think about it that way, but the president is talking about this as the most serious assault on our I don't, democracy. I don't think anything about I don't think anything about this is funny. I think uh, what is important to note, though, here is that there are 28 states, including Texas, where there are laws uh, in place or in process to make it harder to vote. This may be hard to believe. We don't spend a lot of time talking about or thinking about President Trump here, former President Trump, uh, to, to be very clear. Um, Though. Why not just make them free and give them out to, and have them available everywhere? Should we just send one to every American? Maybe. Then, then what? Ha then what happens if you if every American has one test? How much does that cost? And then what happens after that? Now, all I know is that other countries seem to be making them available for in greater quantities for less money. Well, I think we share the same objective, which is to make them less expensive and more accessible, right?